Now let's discuss the uh, first type of stability which is the rotor angle stability. So before we uh, discuss what is the meaning of rotor angle stability we need to identify what is the meaning of the rotor angle or the load angle. The rotor angle or the load angle is the angle between the induced EMF inside our generator or uh, it is known as or uh, noted by uh, denoted by uh, E and between the terminal voltage in a three phase alternator the terminal voltage which represents the voltage of our grid so if we look at uh, the phasor here we have here our generator which generates uh, induced DMF E we have here a reactance which represents the equivalent reactance from our generator to the connection to the grid the V terminal here representing the voltage of our grid so we'll find here that we have V terminal and we have E which is the generated or induced EMF and between them is the angle delta so assuming that V terminal here is with an angle zero so we consider it as our reference and we have here our current which is lagging by angle theta so the induced MFE will be equal to I multiplied by JXS plus V terminal from KVL. So uh, V terminal plus the current multiplied by JXS will give us the induced MFE. Remember that here we have our current and J increases the current by an angle 90 degree. So uh, the perpendicular to the current which is in this direction and multiply it by xs so this one representing j i a xs which representing the voltage drop from here to uh, the terminal okay we assuming of course that the resistance is very small and can be neglected so the uh, rotor or load angle is the angle between the induced mfe and the V terminal. Uh, the, if we look at this uh, diagram or this uh, relation between the power output from our generator and the angle delta. Okay, so uh, if we uh, consider that the, this uh, curve represents the relation between the power and the load angle or the rotor angle delta, this curve representing a non-salient unregulated machine one of the types of the machines okay the non-salient machine which is known non-salient synchronous generator and unregulated means that we are not uh, our field the current is constant we are not controlling our field so this uh, will be produced in case of the unregulated non-salient we have a different types of course in our machines we have non-salient and salient and we have non-salient and salient in case of uh, unregulated uh, other with uh, regulated and other with uh, the uh, terminal volt or fast acting um, equipment or fast acting control system so we have a different curves but this one is an example of one of the curves the uh, delta here as the delta increases the power output from the generator increases so delta here representing the loading on our machine as the delta increases means that we are uh, loading our machine more okay so we'll find here p node representing the mechanical power input to our generator which produces a specific output power okay assuming of course no mechanical losses inside the machine so at this point this delta node representing the operating uh, rotor angle at the mechanical power p node so uh, p maximum representing the maximum loading of our machine so uh, theoretically the machine is stable when the delta is between 0 and 90 degree and greater than 90 the machine become unstable so but actually actually in real life we use delta a very small value for example 20 degree or 23 degree and so on 
not close to 90 degree this is due to the design of the machine and due to the uh, stability criteria okay we need to make sure that there is a large margin for our machine in case of disturbances so what does a rotor angle stability means it is the ability of the synchronous machines of the interconnected power system to remain in synchronism after being subjected to a disturbance so we need our a synchronous machine to still or be in synchronous uh, or in synchronism or in the synchronous conditions after being subjected to a disturbance a disturbance such as the uh, short circuit on a transmission line uh, change in mechanical power a change in the load all of this are considered to be disturbances in our power system the uh, rotor angle stability depends on the ability to maintain or restore the equilibrium between the electromechanic uh, electromagnetic torque and the mechanical torque of each uh, synchronous machine in the system so we need to uh, produce the equilibrium or balance between the torque electrical and the mechanical torque here this one which describes the relation between them is the swing equation a swing equation m which represents the j or the inertia of our machine and d by dt square of the delta delta is the rotor angle and the variation with respect to time square which represents the acceleration equal the mechanical power minus the electrical power or we can say the mechanical torque which is input to our generator minus the electrical output uh, torque of the machine so if we achieve the balance between the mechanical and the electrical then the variation in the delta will be equal to zero so the delta or the rotor angle will uh, reach a steady state value so in order to say that our rotor angle is stable we need to achieve the balance between the mechanical power and the electrical power okay so we can say that uh, there is a different criteria in order to know if the uh, system will be stable after a disturbance or not this uh, criteria depends on either the, the uh, disturbance is a small disturbance or a larger disturbance for example the small disturbance here uh, this happens in the order of 10 to 20 seconds following a disturbance the disturbance is very small such as the change in load or change in mechanical power this disturbance is very small so we can linearize our equations so we can use a criteria called the equal area criteria which helps us in understanding or identifying either the system is stable or not as an example for the small disturbance the small incremental change in load or the mechanical input power here is an example of a stable and unstable variation inside our uh, rotor angle for example here this one uh, the rotor angle was stable at a, at a specific value then you will find here an oscillations inside or a variation in our delta and this variation is increasing or oscillations increasing with time until it goes theoretically to infinity okay so this uh, red curve is unstable delta however here in the blue one you will find here that uh, our uh, oscillations is damping and finally reaching to a steady state value so the red one is unstable variation in the delta and system is unstable but here uh, steady, the delta reaches a steady state value so we can say it is a, a stable system in case of the large disturbance it is the ability of the power system to maintain synchronous but in this time when it's subjected to a severe disturbance such as short circuit on transmission line or faults on a transmission line this is considered as a large disturbance in power system 
the time frame in this case which is the larger disturbance or we can say it is a transient stability is usually in three to five seconds following our disturbance it can also extend to 10 to 20 seconds for a very large systems as an example for this you will find here that uh, the rotor angle uh, increases here until reaching to infinity which is unstable case and here it is the oscillations and going through a steady state value so this curve is a stable value but this one is unstable now the rotor angle instability causes what happens when our rotor angle is unstable number one the uh, it, it occurs in the form of increasing the angular swings of some generators you will find that the uh, the delta is increasing until infinity theoretically which is unstable case the second thing which will happen is the loss of synchronism between one machine and the entire power system or between group of machines where the group of machines are synchronized with each other but not synchronized from the power system also the uh, rotor angle instability can cause the uh, tripping of the generators which will lead to uh, loss of generation which will lead to uh, uh, drop in bus voltages due to the uh, loss of generators